Israel court rules accuse, then I can't say this word. Um, it's P E D O P H I L E. Again, I can't say it because of YouTube punishes us for this. Um, so accuse P word Malka Leifer be ex, um, extradited to Australia. So they're sending this. Is this a lady? She's being extradited to Australia. And AGA from Australia saying, so glad she's coming home to face her crimes. Um, objective reality saying, it's evident Muslims. Oh, no. So that's about the previous news. All right, let's read this article. Let me see if it's too long for me to read the entire thing. Yeah, it is too long to read the entire thing. So I'm going to read the summary. Or else we're going to be here forever. So number nine. By the way, look at our look at how great our team is. Like summarizing this for me. Like again, I know I can't I can't mention the name of the person who does me because she's uh, her life is under threat because of her activism. But shout out to her for summarizing all of this to us, guys. Like we have an amazing team, so I could read this for you in some the summary. I'm making this longer anyway. So, anyways, thank you to her. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for doing all the great this great work behind the scenes, and you're not getting any appreciation for it as well. Because of religion, you have to be in hiding. All right. An Israeli court decided that accused uh, P word something, um, Malka Leifer, be extradited to Australia. Uh, Leifer fled to Israel in 28 uh, after, is that how you say it? Now? After being in, uh, indicate, uh, in, indict, in, is that, indicted, is that how you say it? Indicated? Indicted? Yep. Indict. Indicted. Why English is so weird? Why is there a C here if it's not going to be pronounced? Um, guys, make sure if I miss Yuval's commentary on this, uh, you you tell me that I need to scroll up. So this, okay, so indicted in Australia for 74 counts of R, R, R A P, uh, sexual assault and sexual abuse of three sisters who were her students while she served as the headmistress of a Jewish school in Australia. Okay, so a lot of people, it was not very clear how what this had to do with religion, but you can see by her outfit that she is a religious type, and she was doing this from a position. She was doing this to school children from a position of authority given to her by being being a religious authority okay so she used religion as a, again this is what religion does again re, uh, this is not directly a religious teaching in his well not as uh in christianity or judaism but the religion can still be blamed for it because um religion gives undeserved authority to people and gives the uh, put people in a position of trust and power where people actually trust they're the most vulnerable members of their community, i.e. children, two people that do not deserve any credibility or any trust or any authority to, to have uh, children under the trust. So religion indirectly um, is responsible for, for this, not because it's in their teachings. Uh, so uh, three sisters were, okay, so her student was, she served as the headmistress, headmistress of a Jewish school in Australia. Uh, a statement by Cole V. Uh, an advocacy group uh, for survivors child assault uh, said, oh, wait, somebody who I cannot pronounce the name, who's an advocacy, who's part of an advocacy group said that even Leifer, Leifer and the school where she thought could not have foreseen the extent to which certain ultra-Orthodox Jewish communities in Israel and around the world would go to protect an accused P-word and how the failures of the Israeli justice system would help them in their quest for, for an, an alleged P-word to avoid justice. So guys, is this a second way where religion is to blame uh, in all of this? This is true for Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, where the religious community think like this is one of our own. No matter what they did, they need to be protected. We deal with our own people. The outside world doesn't uh, doesn't deal with them. Do not punish them, and they protect the worst of our atrocities. 
the worst of atrocities are uh, are defend. I mean, Hindus do this as well, by the way. Just to be fair, Hindus do this a lot as well. We saw this in the the Hindu priests who were um, uh, were they priests or not? But where they were abusing this, um, uh, sexually abusing this child in the temple, and when they were when eventually the law came for them, the Hindu community started protecting them and defending them. This is like a, such a disgusting tribal mentality that the worst, worst, most disgusting vile crimes is protected just because they are associated with your group. And again, Israel, I think Israel should be ashamed of this as well. Uh, is this accurate? Yuval, Yuval is saying it was an ultra-Orthodox school. Okay, but is Israel, is Israel as a government is responsible also for protecting these people uh, in Israel? Um, before, like, was there any resistance by the Israeli government to extradite this person to Australia? AGA is saying, well, we, by the way, Yuval is Israeli and AGA is from Australia, so we're getting from the both sides of this border, we're getting commentary. This is why I love our live chat. Uh, in Israel, during the extradition hearing, she tried to claim um, insanity. Um, well, I'm glad that that didn't work. Um, keep the chat civil. No, it's okay. You can... You don't have to give. Uh, she claimed she was insane, and the Israeli Minister of Health uh, and Ultra Orthodox himself is said to have helped her in her efforts. I suspect some bias here. Religious people trying to defend other religious people just because they're ultra orthodox. Guys, again, this is you see, this is the government, and again, Yuval is a Zionist who is pointing out the hypocrisy of the Israeli government and any fault within the Israeli government and any religious douchebaggery from the Israeli government. Again, see, if your bias against all Zionists are unfounded. So thank you, Yuval, for that commentary. But yeah, again, this is the Israeli government being having religion influence the Israeli government. Um, again, secularism is not a binary thing. And as much as we celebrate how Israel's secularism is much more than countries and almost every other Islamic country, we still can shame Israel for having religion influence their government uh, in a way that uh, makes them less secular than countries like Canada, Australia, and many countries in Western Europe, right? Uh, Harshid is saying, I have some extra rupees left in my budget for the month. Would you like a super chat? No, Harshit. If you only have, do not give us a super chat. Do not give us a super chat. If you have only, the guys, if you have a little bit of budget, put that, do not support us financially. Please, Harshit, please, please do not give us a super chat. Do not support us financially. Uh, just like and subscribe. And just do us a favor, just share this video. Share this video somewhere. That will really help us. Just sharing this video will be like, send signals to the YouTube algorithm that makes our channel grow faster. So doing that really, really does help. And it doesn't cost you anything. But really, I appreciate um, you wanting to. But again, if you guys have a low budget and you're considering supporting us financially, then you're out of your mind. Stop it. Do not do that. Okay? Um, all right. Let's go. Let me see. Is there any news? Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So